Minecraft weapons are boring. They don't have any special abilities. You just click them and they do damage. But today we're going to make a custom sword. Let's get started. So obviously the item you want to use for this is a sword. So today we're going to be making a lightning sword. So all this is going to do is when we hit something with it, it's going to strike lightning there. So if we go into our code and in the load.mc function, we're going to add a scoreboard. So scoreboard objectives add netherite sword used netherite sword which is going to detect for when we use a netherite sword again you can call this netherite sword anything but i'm just calling it netherite sword so in our tick function we're going to execute as all players with a score of netherite sword of one or more and the mbt of selected item and then id of netherite sword and tag of lightning 1b which is the tag that i gave it in the command and then at that player and we're gonna run say i used a lightning sword then we're gonna do the same thing as last time and we're gonna copy that scoreboard player set zero and we're gonna make it another right sword instead of right click and now if we reload and summon a pig with no ai it says i used a lightning sword okay so now we're going to instead of saying that we're going to run a function and the function is going to be tutorial colon lightning okay so in here first we're going to do effect give at s resistance one four true and that is going to make sure that the lightning strike is not actually going to affect us resistance four means that you don't actually take any damage and true will mean we can't actually see it we're going to execute as all entities with the distance of less than five because you can't reach more than five blocks and mbt of hurt time 10s what that means is if we go back into minecraft and summon a pig you see when it goes like red like that that is the hurt time so 10s means any entity that got hurt this tick and we're just gonna make it limit of one because we can only hurt one entity at a time so we're going to execute as the entity at, at s and we're going to run summon lightning bolt now if we reload there you go it's struck lightning and now if we go in survival you can see that we only start taking damage from the fire whereas if we summoned a normal lightning bolt we take a bunch of damage before we start taking fire damage obviously you can replace all of the commands with anything you want uh, but that is how to make some swords and if you want to learn how to make custom bows the next video will be all about that goodbye